Yay. They did it. It's new product time. New, new, new. Okay, don't forget everyone, we have our new product newsletter. You can get this every single week. If you can't keep up with our new products, this is a way to do it. All right, first up. Okay, we got a whole shipment of stuff from Pimeroni, which is great. They've released a couple products in the last few months, and now we have them. This is the Pico Hat Hacker. It's a little add-on for your Raspberry Pi that kind of just doubles the um, GPIO, and what's nice is that you know you can solder this in uh, directly into the pins and then you can have like an extension. So it's good for, you know, if you're um, making your own custom hats or hacking something and you just want to have a duplicate output. So it goes with your Pi Zero, Pi A Plus, B Plus, et cetera. Okay, next up. Oh, this is the uh, super awesome unicorn hat HD. So this is an upgrade from uh, their NeoPixel based hat. Instead of having 256 NeoPixels, which actually would be way too expensive to do, because uh, each pixel has its own controller. They have one big controller on the back that's a lot like those uh, multiplex matrices that we uh, sell in the shop, except um, there's a little helper chip that uh, manages it for you, that kind of does the multiplexing for you. So you don't have to even uh, run it like an RGB matrix where you have to like send data constantly. And uh, I got the demo here. So you can see the back, it has all the driver chips. And it comes with a little diffuser, um, and it's all assembled, so you just plug it right in. And then this is it with the diffuser, so it looks that's really great. nice. And then if I take it, it's that's cool. cool to kind of oh hack. neat. Whoa, diffusing. This is running like a a demo with um, like a plasma thing, but it's 256 pixels, so that's a lot. It's using like um, two millimeter by two millimeter LEDs, and then just like plugs in very nicely and works with your favorite Raspberry Pi. It works with any Pi, B plus, A plus. And it's definitely like if you want the high quality RGB matrix display, um, it's a really good deal and it's very easy to use. Man, I'm having a major case of deja vu. Have we ever done this before? New products? We do it every week. This, the, was there a product that was, that was like this? Dude, we have like 8,000 products like this. Are you kidding? All we have is like I, I, I told you the story that a dream I had. So um, a, f- a friend at the company sent the Cassini probe stuff, like it's going to crash into Saturn. And, yeah. I did, and I had a dream I was a space probe. But I was AI and I became self-aware, and I told Earth I didn't want to crash and die into the planet. And I saw, and I was, I saw my sensors saw images like that. Oh, really? And I was trying to, yeah. yeah. And this I was, is like the f- when this you is- lift it up. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, but I had a little bit of a weird moment. But yeah, I was trying to send the sensor information before I woke up too. I thought my phone could get it. Yeah. Mm, super weird dream. This is also a common plasma demo that we run on. I mean, also you could be having deja vu from your previous life as a Cassini probe. Yeah. Okay. But it's also a common thing that we run on because it's a it's a nice demo. So, anyways, uh, high density, the most pixels. Yeah, so that's cool. Yeah, yeah, I just got I just got triggered. I'm like, I saw that in my space probe dream. Okay. And it's got a nice diffuser. Cool. Which does help. Was that my outside voice? Yeah, it was. Okay. Next up. On off ship. So this is a little add on, kind of like our little like Pi UART and Pi OLED. Um, this one uses, you know, actually I don't know exactly the detail of how it works because I, I couldn't quite figure it out, but um, it seems like it uses two GPIO, uh, one as an input, one as an output, to signal when to turn off the Pi from a button. So you use that button to turn it off and turn it back on. And I guess there's some like flip flop or latch um, in the circuitry that allows it to do it. And so this lets you have a, a full power on off uh, control for your Raspberry Pi. So it also works with any Pi and it has a little script that you run and it sort of manages the on-off stuff for you. Okay. Next up. And this is a third little add-on. So this is another little shim. It's a little thing that can go um, in between um, your Raspberry Pi hats or you can just use it as is. It just gives you five buttons and it has a little dot star LED. Um, it uses a um, I squared C expander, so you don't actually have to like control each pin separately. Um, it'll go through this expander, so it's, you know it manages your pull-ups for you and everything. And I've got assembled versions of all these as well. If you want to, they're not as glowy. They're still pretty cool. So this is the button shim. So it yeah, that plugs wasn't in my dream. In. This that button, was. yeah. Sorry. It's all right. Maybe maybe you foresaw that foretelling. So yeah, this can plug in like this. And uh, you get some buttons. Hold on, let me focus in. So you get some buttons, which is really nice. And then this version is just kind of like the duplicator breakout. So you can um, put in headers and solder it, 
or you can um, I guess you could probably do it like this too and it fits right over you do have to solder I mean it, it does fit like this but it's not like a tight fit so if you want to actually duplicate the connections you would uh, either solder these in directly or use a connector and then the on off shim is not as exciting looking so that's that's what I'm going to show on the okay that's it yeah. All right, we're along. Here what pie, is this a Pi Day? So this is the AIY kit. So this was a Google, it's like um, audio assistant, AI, it yourself kit that was given out the latest Magpie. Not the, this one, but maybe the previous one was, we actually got one, the little box uh, Magpie kit. And um, you can basically make your own Google Home Assistant and it uses a Raspi 3. And so this kit, which we will be stocking soon, uh, comes with everything you need except I think a Raspberry Pi. It comes with like you know the button and uh, the box, and um, you fold it together. And then if you want to unfold it, but it's kind of neat because it's kind of like you can just DIY your own assistant. So wow, there you go. So it's got wow. the voice um, stuff, a uh, big speaker, uh, the voice hat control, and um, this button. So you can even says instructions on it. So this is a kind of a, a fun project that you can you know use your Raspberry Pi three and then build a little home assistant with. Apparently it works quite well. Uh, there's these holes here for the uh, microphones, so it does a little bit of directional control. And then the speaker is nice and big. It's kind of got that like rustic look to it. Um, so we will have this in the shop uh, shortly. I don't know the exact date, but sign up if you'd like to pick one up. We will have them soon. Okay, there's more. We also have a pack. This is for a Hackster workshop with Microsoft. Uh, if you're in that workshop, you'll want this. If you're not, you can still pick it up, but it's not as useful. Next up. Uh, we got, yeah, we squeezed in one more uh, Raspberry Pi project uh, from Pimeroni. This is the Octocam. Everything from Pimeroni is delightful. Look how it's delightful so cute. this is. It's kind of, it's a little octopus. Yeah, you want to show, I'll show it in the overhead. It's actually yeah. easier to show in the overhead. Um, it's a little octopus uh, plastic piece. Yeah, it looks like it's, oh, it's laser etched. So it's plastic that's yeah, it's in laser etched. And then you get these suction cups because it's it's an octopus. And inside there's a Pi Zero W and it has, you can bring your own SD card. Uh, you put this together and you get also a little um, camera which you can kind of see folded over a little spy camera. And um, when you put it together, you can kind of stick this to um, your window uh, on the inside or on the outside, whatever, and it will uh, video. You can use time lapse, motion detection, webcam, um, desktop cam. You know, you don't have to stick to a window. You can just put it on a table as well. But uh, I like the suckers because it's kind of neat. You can, if you want to do a wildlife or outdoor cam or backyard cam, um, this is a fun and easy project. It comes with a Pi Zero W, which is cool, but you do need to include. Um, your own SD card. So it's almost complete, complete. And then a power supply. But if, it's pretty complete. If all the polar ice caps melt and it's this water planet, I hope the octopuses get a chance, the octopi get a chance to rule the planet. I think they do pretty good. You could say octopuses. Yeah? You don't say octopi. I think they do a pretty good job. Because yeah. they got like a bunch of arms and they could, they could use tools. They could, eventually if there's land, they could learn how to they walk. They can squeeze through things. They can squeeze through things. I yeah. think they do pretty good. Okay, so this is quite sticky. Watch out for this. This is very sticky. Yay, octopus. I don't think it's okay to eat them, maybe. Don't, yeah. okay. They're not that tasty anymore. All right, the star of this show okay. tonight, um, Lady Ada. More blinky. It goes well. Besides with, you. Yeah. Is a feather wing. Yeah, I get some more feather, feather wings done. Feathering party. I know. We had some, well, there's a couple of feather wings I want to get going, so this is good. It's a good pair up for the um, HD uh unicorn hat so if you like that unicorn hat maybe this is also a pretty good deal this is for the feather wings this is for the feathers works with all feathers uh, you can see the little demo that we did it's full rainbow color pixels you get 72 so it's a pretty good number and it's also very high density so it's I made them as high density as possible so it's 6 by 12 so you get a lot of RG pixels um, and we have a little font. This is a five pixel font that you can use so you can have it scroll text if you like or have a little graph. It's just enough pixels that you can kind of do stuff with it. And um, it's pretty easy to use. Uh, you solder it on the headers and you can plug it into your feather wing doubler or whatnot. And then um, on the back you have two pins used for clocking data. You can use any two pins and then there's jumpers if you want to select 
other pins. Um, but you know, the default ones I picked don't really collide with anything, so I think it's good to stick with those. And then you've got the blinky. It's kind of nice, I don't love the blinky. So dot stars, and the, these are the new uh, super tiny two millimeter by two millimeter dot stars, so that's why you get the high pitch display. And then of course you don't have to use it with the featherweight, you can use it with other things, but it's kind of designed to work well with those. Okay, and with that is new products. Thanks everybody, new products team. Thank you, lady. I think everybody hope make this happen another weekend.